Ladies and gentlemen, the new Debt Acknowledgement Program. The link can be found at satcom 911com I am tired. It is 5 a.m. in the morning and haven't gotten a lot of sleep. Had a consult yesterday, finished it, woke up at 2, been up for the last three hours, making sure that I kept my word to have this done by the 1st. Today is the 1st of October. It is done! And what you need to know, real quickly, debt acknowledgement is a link. The Fourth Amendment program is a link. The decedent estate EIN number is a link. All you have to do is click on it. Let's go to the Debt Acknowledging Pro Acknowledgement Program, the DAP. DAP, fall into the DAP. The Debt Acknowledgement Program, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what it says. You're going to acknowledge the debt. Stop telling them you don't owe no money. This ain't about owing money. There is no money. This explains it. The entire site explains how there is no money. We will offset up to 480000 now, I know, I know, I know. It sounds too good to be true. How can you do that? Because the law allows us to do it. If you read through the site, it tells you exactly why and how. Okay? It gives you all of the details, gives you all of the laws, gives you all of the understanding. It doesn't give you an opinion. We're not here to talk about opinions. We're here to talk about the law. But that's too much. What if it doesn't work? What do you mean, what if it doesn't work? Either you follow the law, they follow the law, or there is no law. So what we have done is we have explained what you're going to be entering into with us is a partnership. Why a partnership? Because that is necessary in order for us to facilitate this issue with you. Please read over the information so that you'll have a better understanding of what's going on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we will also be assigning tax credits to offset the debt. That's why it works. Now, you know tax credits are dollar for dollar, correct? Ah, uh, but there is a way to utilize tax credits in order to make a payment. And when it's done correctly, it cannot be refused, rejected, or this is not a proper form of payment. That doesn't work with this process. Ben, we've done it ourselves. That's the unique thing. We did it on a small scale in 2018. Interesting, ain't it? Then how come you haven't talked about it up until now? Because there's too much going on right now. So what we have been doing is we've also been doing other items, other research, especially into this mortgage fraud thing, and we're getting ready to file a lawsuit. There is too much going on. And so we had to wait until we got all of our accounts up to date, and we've just about gotten that together. And so now it's the time for this program. Defrauded Homeowners of America, your tax credit assignments will be done month of November. Please, thank you for your patience in that issue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, let's give you a for instance and for other purposes. When interpreting statute, Congress often places the phrase and for other purposes that is often ignored by many. Take, for instance, the creation of the new money that is found in a congressional record of March 9, 1933. It was clearly explained in that session of how the new money was to be used. Or, what was the purpose for the new money? The new money was to be used as gold and security for Federal Reserve notes and was to be at par with Federal Reserve notes, which was replaced by Federal Reserve or Federal Reserve Bank notes, which was replaced by Federal Reserve notes for the same purpose as Federal Reserve Bank notes, which were then known as national bank notes. It was the congressional intent that any notes or any drafts or any bills of exchange or any banker's acceptance, trade acceptances, were to be worth 100 cents on a dollar because they were backed by the credit of the nation. Now, since Congress identified this as the new money, it is deemed in law as legal tender. Why? Because the law says that it was tender. Go back, 312 U.S.C. 411. Two, 
it calls your promissory notes tender. Congress made a law that makes it legal tender. Shh. Remember, it was supposed to be at par with Federal Reserve notes. Also note that the new money will be worth 100 cents on the dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. Because this was the stated intent of Congress, this new money was legal tender, good for the payment of all debts, as backed by the repeal of the gold clause, known as joint resolution. Redefining what the term gold meant henceforth and heretofore, as stipulated in joint session of Congress, June 5th, 1933. All you have to do is understand that it's always been the law. It's just we've been running in there talking about HJR 192 when it's never been HJR 192. It was always joint resolution. Had nothing to do with a number. It was joint resolution, June 5th, 1933 or the act to assure the uniform value of the coins and currencies of the United States. Congress identified a coin or currency of the United States, i.e. the new money. Go back and read the, well, let's see if we can pull that up for you. That's not it. I got to give you guys one pause, one second. There's a document there that I can't show y'all because y'all don't deserve to see it. Hold on. Then I'm going to. Okay. There are two things we're going to show you real quick. Like I said, I'm about to go lay down because I got to get some, a little bit most rest. It tells you right here that those notes are obligations of the Federal Reserve and they're to be receivable at par, equal value. And pay attention for the same purposes, for other purposes, as national bank notes. They always tell you what the purpose of the act is. And for other purposes, you guys have seen that in law. Let's do that. Let's go to what we refer to as the Gold Repeal Act. Let me see, coins and currencies, is it? This is the Gold Repeal Act of, this is the actual act, ladies and gentlemen. This is one coin and currencies, but this is not the one I'm looking for. Give me a second so I can get to the act. This is the act of June 12th. Now, what you will see is this section right here, the next one, this joint resolution. See, this is the title. This was the bill that was introduced. This was the law that was passed to assure the uniform value of the coins and currencies of the United States. That's the law, people. It is not HJR 192. HJR 192 was the bill, not the law. Some of you will understand. Now remember, they were talking about a particular kind of coin or currency of the United States or, pay attention, in an amount of the money, in an amount of money, or, excuse me, in an amount in money of the United States, measured thereby. In an amount in money. Pay attention to that word. In an amount in money of the United States, measured thereby. So let's get a measurement. Let's find out what the purpose of that statement is. We're going to go back here. And let's do, this is the law, people. The last section of the bill provides for the issuance of a new money. What? Understand just how this new money is to be handled. Well, how is it to be handled? Under the Federal Reserve Act, these obligations, this new money that are deposited as the security and gold for reserve notes are placed in the hands of the Federal Reserve agent. Well, what's the reason for it? What's the purpose? This provision is for the issuance of Federal Reserve Bank Notes or Federal Reserve National Bank Notes or National Bank Notes, as we learned earlier, and not for Federal Reserve Notes. How do we know that this means National Bank Notes? Really? Let's show you. All the powers and authorities with respect to the issuance of circulating notes, known as Federal Reserve Bank Notes, Okay, Federal Reserve Bank Notes, National Bank Notes, the Federal Reserve is the National Bank for the United States, National Bank Notes. 
Sorry. Sometimes people just don't get it. <sighs> and the security back of it is the obligations, your notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptance. Your note backs Federal Reserve notes, which means they're at par. They're equal. How are they equal? Well, according to Congress, under the new law, the money, Congress called it money, is issued to the banks in return for government obligations, the new money, bills of exchange, drafts, notes, trade acceptance, and bankruptcy acceptances. The new money will be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. It will represent a mortgage on all the homes and of all the other property of all the people of the nation. That's how we do this. And we use tax credits, which are dollar for dollar, to offset debt. Many of you are going to try to duplicate what we're doing, but you're not going to be able to because we are not going to produce all of the documents so that people can copy them. This is a process. You can try it. That's why I'm putting the information out here. But the amount for the 480000 is reasonable, at least so I believe. Now, Let's get back to the hotel, if you don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this explains what we do. This explains what happens to our Legion and AMCF clients, as well as our Fourth Amendment clients. See? This, the Fourth Amendment Collateral Acquisition Secure Program. All three of those programs receive the discount. The rest of you, sorry, because it's too much work. Many of these other clients, we've already done the paperwork for. We've already done most of the documentation. Now we're going to be focusing solely on this. want to thank you all for your patience and us bringing this about. This has taken greater than six years. This is where we've been headed from the beginning. It's just explaining this information and training people to understand this and get it has been very difficult. We've had people who have been... They've had good intentions at the beginning, but life throws curves at people. Then we have the powers that be that want to interfere with you all getting this information. So this is, now this one is called the Partnership Program, or TPP. The Partnership Program is exactly what it says. We're not going to explain to you the reasoning behind everything. We're just going to let you know that every word has been chosen specifically for a specific reason to make sure you understand. This explains that the joint resolution gold repeal or gold abrogation act. That's the official titles, people. Stop calling it HGR 192. You're doing yourself and the whole process a disservice. All right, that be that. Now, you can... We're going to have some other links. These are not links yet. You click on them and you're going to get Moby Rise. Oh, no, it's that's right. I took care of that Moby Rise stuff. So you'll have the information. You click here. You'll have more information explaining other things. Okay, this information is for your benefit. Take the time to read it. You will learn something. I can guarantee that. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you for your patience. We're uploading files now. So everything will be what it is. Let me minimize this so I can get on back about my business. And have a good day, everyone. Thank you very much for taking the time. Goodbye.